Hello folks, thanks for tuning in. I've been on a long stretch of running with maximum cushion shoes, daily trainers, and I was looking to get something with a little bit more jump in it, responsiveness. So the last pair I bought was a New Balance Super Comp trainers, which have that bounce, but I've got some serious issues with those, which we'll be talking about once we do 300 miles on that shoe. So I went looking for another daily trainer that had some get up and go, tried on a bunch, and one of them stood out well above all the rest, the Hulka Mach X. Really every company out there is trying to make that perfect daily trainer that you can also use for up-tempo workout or even race shoes. But I feel like they start with the daily trainer and they try and re-engineer it to put in the up-tempo race shoe vibe. I feel Hoka took a race shoe and they re-engineered it to be a more of a daily trainer. And how they did that is they put in a PBEX plate in this shoe, which serves the foundation of a race day shoe, up-tempo shoe that you can use for a daily trainer. But first, let's go ahead and hit the basics on this. Neutral support shoe, road track running, Hoka Lissus has responsive cushioning, probably tends, I wouldn't call it mid cushioning, it does a bit more towards the maximum side, but not a maximum cushion shoe and we'll roll with that responsive cushioning, sounds good. Five millimeter drop, I wear a size 12, which weighed in 10.7 ounces and that's 309 grams. Found it true to size. I gave it an A minus for sustainability. If you go ahead and look at the amount of recycled content in it, in this list provided by Hoka, everything highlighted there in yellow talks about how much recycled content there is in this shoe. So props to Hoka for doing it. They've set the standard for sustainability ratings with an A minus, and the cost was $180. So the Hoka Mock series is a really successful shoe for Hoka, but the one thing it was missing really was that high responsiveness race day caliber shoe. So as I said, they put that PBEX plate inside this shoe. And as for the other technologies that they put in here, uh, Hoka says that the PBA rubber in this one is more resilient than that and what you find in the Hoka Carbon X3. Of course, it has that Meta Rocket technology that made Hoka so successful, uh, as you can with, you tell with that, with this shape. And then this outsole is the Durabrasion rubber. Uh, this is the same rubber that they use in their trail shoes. So it's an interesting combination of technologies that Hoka's put into this Maka X. So on to the fit. I've always found Hoka to be very comfortable shoes, no different with this Hoka Mach X. Start at the, uh, on the sole for a change. Once you put your foot in, it's just very accommodating. It's almost got that memory foam feel to it. Uh, nice and soft, not just on the bottom, but I feel it kind of gets you up along the sides of the, shoe, of the foot as well. So it gives you that nice solid landing pad. Moving up to the toe box. Toe box is definitely a little bit on the wide side, so there's something to keep in mind if you're gonna get this shoe. Um, but otherwise, it, it fits nice. I love this jacket fabric that they put up on top. Uh, it feels nice and kind of even really soft on the inside, uh, more so than it seems to stand out than some of the other shoes. And uh, they do have a gusseted tongue, thank goodness. And, and another little feature which I, I'm a big fan of is on the tongue you see this little pad uh, so that you know helps with any pinching of the laces as well as to keep the tongue in place and stop it from migrating and you can still see of course it's got that flared heel these hokas are just they are comfortable shoe and this is no exception as for the ride if you've seen any of my other videos i generally put them in one or two classes they're either the snapper or the rockers this obviously has got that meta rocket technology it's kind of Hulk has always been in that rocker category where as you move forward, you rock forward on your toe lift, it propels you up, the energy return propels you up and forward. Now the snappers, I almost always will put an issue with a plate in the snapper category, but that kind of loads up more and snaps you forward. So this has both. So I'm not sure which category to put it in, but I'll also tell you on the ride, I wanted to tell you that I love this shoe and it's fantastic. And, and I, I think I'll get there and I've got 48 miles in it so far. And I, and I will mention 13.1 um, of them were the Great North Run up in Newcastle, England, which is a bucket list race, largest half marathon in the world. We're very lucky to be able to do it. 
because that's Dorothy's hometown. So we did it last month. There's a group of seven. Um, so we'll be posting that race, which uh, as an aside, if you're new to the channel, besides these shoe reviews, we do races because we're doing a race in every state. Well, that's why we're race a nation. But we sprinkle in these fun runs, uh, such as the Great North Run. And on all the race reviews, it's not just the race itself, but it's things to do in the areas where you go. There's tons of things to do in Newcastle, and of course we always feature all the food we eat, which is always plenty. So, so go ahead and, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We try and put out a lot of interesting content. Anyways, back to the ride. Is it a snapper or a rocker? Uh, I like the shoe. I can't say yet. I love it. I feel like I'm going fast, but sometimes I'm not. It's designed to be more responsive, but I'm not quite experiencing that yet. And so the jury's still out on just, I like it, but just how much do I like it? Am I going to love it? If you tried this shoe and have thoughts about it, put in the comments section. I know it's been out for a little bit. I'm a little slow on this initial impression, uh, a couple months behind everybody else. But, um, you know, that's what happens because I take and put 300 miles on all my shoes. So you'll know how many miles you get for your money. So, But if you have thoughts and comments, go ahead and put them in that comment section down below. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and as always thanks so much for watching remember our motto here at race and nation exercise explore enjoy you got to enjoy it folks if you're not enjoying it out there then you're not going to stick with it so find the joy in it and keep on running and just keep on racing the nation